Dhul Hijjah is a blessed month and the first 10 days are exceptionally noted in the Quran and Hadith. Here are three reasons to make the most of the days of Dhul Hijjah. Narrated Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is saying, There is no virtue more to the liking of Allah in any day than in these days, that is, the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. They asked, Messenger of Allah, not even the struggle in the path of Allah? He said, yes, not even the struggle in the path of Allah, except a man who goes out with his life and property and does not return with any of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, exalted as he, says, by the dawn and by the ten nights. Ibn Abbas, Ibn al-Zubayr, Mujahid and others of the earlier and later generation said that this refers to the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah. Ibn Kathir said this is the correct opinion. Allah says and mention the name of Allah on appointed days. Ibn Abbas said that these are the ten days. Most scholars adopt the opinion that these days are better than the last ten days of Ramadan. However, what holds the last 10 days of Ramadan at a higher status is the night of power, Laylatul Qadr, which is equivalent to 1,000 months. The rewards are multiplied in these days. Ibn Abbas said the reward for good deeds are multiplied 700 times in these days. In Ramadan, doing good deeds and struggling in worship, especially during the last 10 nights, is easier than during these days for a few reasons. Firstly, the atmosphere of the month of Ramadan, whether culturally, spiritually or traditionally, makes it easier to focus and strive. Secondly, the shayateen are trained. So, to get that drive and direction we had in Ramadan is much harder when we have most likely fallen out of Ramadan mode. However, since the ibadah is more difficult, the reward is greater. <laughs>